Hello everyone, welcome back to the Overseer PC, the place where we test different hardware configurations and real world gameplays. Before we proceed, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any of our videos. Today we're going to look at the Core i5 11400F paired with a GTX 1660 Super, an old Turing generation card but now costs a whole lot of money. No thanks to you, pandemic. Now, we are going to be running this in war zone and we'll be running this in competitive and high settings. We'll be doing this in both the Rigbert Island and the Verdansk Island. And let's see how this configuration actually works out in war zone. Now, our specs are remains the same. We will be using the Core i5 11400F. This is on an H510 motherboard with 32GB of DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM. We are using the latest NVIDIA drivers, GeForce game ready drivers. So let's just go with this one guys. 1660 Super and Core i5 11400F. Wazo. Let's go. Suck my dick.
drop point for your team. You've got gas in the So everything's pretty clear from our competitive settings here. Um, in Verdansk, we've got about 87 to 100 FPS. We did try without anti-aliasing and it reached about 100 to about 110. Well, while in the Rebirth Island, with using competitive settings, it was 100 about to about 120. Frame times were really good. The only exception with um, Rebirth Island we're in, it dropped down to 80 FPS was when we were using the drone. Frame times were stable, temperatures, well, 70 plus because it's until, and the GPU is not bad, it's around 67 for a single fan. Now let's have a look at high settings. Watch the skies. 
at the drop point for your team. Anyone they did? Guests approaching your position. Move to the safe zone. So for high settings in Verdansk, our FPS was roughly around 80 to 90. It wasn't a big leap from the competitive settings. The only thing I did notice is that the frame times were slightly erratic compared to competitive settings. Meanwhile, in Rebirth Island, our FPS dropped to about 70 to 80. I think this is possibly because of the indoor lighting. And if you turn your settings high, it makes all those particles and lighting and all that stuff shadows a bit complicated. So normally we would get like really high um, FPS in Rebirth Island. But in this case, if you tune up high settings, it will make it really low. And one thing to look at as well was our VRAM wasn't actually sufficient for the demand of high settings as you can see during the settings. Anyway, that's it for our video today. I hope you guys um, learned and enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.